and it is day two of my classroom setup. Good morning, it is now Thursday, August 2nd, 2018, and it is day two of my classroom setup. I just got to school, and yesterday I did not have my mic because it has been giving me issues, so if you notice a difference in the audio quality, it's because today I'm wearing my mic, and hopefully it will not glitch out on me like it did last time. So basically, I am going to continue working on bulletin boards today, see if I can finish the bulk of it, and start bringing things down from on top of the cabinets. I did get to school a little later than yesterday because I was out and around doing errands so right now is about 10 20 a.m. so I'm just gonna go in and get started because I do need to be out of the building by 4 they do close the building at 4 that means I need to leave my room before 4 p.m. all right so I'm going to gather some things that are in the trunk get my cart and head on in and I'll see you there all right I just got inside my classroom and I'm just gonna give you a quick overview again of where I left off yesterday so here's a sketch I need to finish right now you're looking at it upside down and I need to take out all this black border and put the white border underneath first and then replace the black border back on top of it so that is coming I need to replace this paper into black paper and yeah everything else will be put down as I finish all the bulletin boards. The bulletin boards will have some pennants that will be like the title for each. So this one is gonna be my math one and the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use some little pennants that I'm gonna make myself and they're gonna come off the corner here. It's gonna say math. This one will be for science and social studies. So I'm just gonna call it my content. So it'll be labeled on this side as content. And the two that are over here, the blue one is going to be labeled reading and the yellow one will be labeled writing. So another thing that I just noticed is my calendar headings are in the superhero theme. So I'm going to have to make my own in Harry Potter theme or find some at the teacher store that kind of match with what I'm going with here. Yep, we're still, <laughs> the calendar is still showing June and school has been out since June 7th, but that's how I left it. It'll be replaced. All right, and I also noticed that I may have to change my magnetic titles to match the theme, because those I made to match the superhero theme. So yeah, tons of things that I need to prepare and print and laminate and cut. And hopefully my color printer does work because yesterday I tried to use it and it kept saying offline. So I'm going to try to troubleshoot it today to hopefully be able to print some things in color because that is very, very needed. All right, so let me eat something really quickly. I was very prepared today. I packed a breakfast, I packed a lunch and some water and some snacks. So I'm good. I don't plan on leaving my room until a few minutes before four so I can get as much as I can accomplished. All right, so here we go. Okay, I just realized something and this paper, the drawing that I put on it should have been mirror image because it's not going to look exactly like this when I put it up on the bulletin board. This part of Hogwarts Castle should have been on this side somewhere. Right. All right, so that means that I have to erase the entire thing and start over from scratch. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna take a picture so I can kind of use it as reference so I can pretty much copy what I did on the other side. So here I go. with this final sketch now I'm just going to take my exacto knife and start etching and cutting away and then hopefully by the time I'm done I will be able to put it up here so it's not gonna cover the entire space it's gonna go probably up to here somewhere and then I have to do another piece for the rest of it over here but 
Hopefully it won't be as detailed as this because the other part will just be maybe forest and mountains. All right, so let me go ahead and get my X-Acto knife and start cutting away. just finished cutting all of it that I could because you could see that there's still some drawings on there but that's not going to show because it's just part of me sketching so I could kind of try and get it the way I wanted it to so now it's the moment of truth I'm going to actually put the camera on a tripod and do another time lapse of me putting this piece of paper up here now it is longer than what I need it but I'm going to use the Zacto knife to cut off the excess to the bottom. And this bottom half is what I'm gonna to use to continue to draw the scene that's going to continue right here on the other side of the blue board. Let's do that now. finished positioning the paper that I cut out with a Zacto knife um, on the bulletin board with thumbtacks because I do that before I actually go ahead and staple it put on the wall I just realized something once I put it up I shouldn't have cut these holes right here I should have only cut these right here but it's okay I think I have a solution for it I'm gonna put a piece of gray bulletin board paper right here on this spot and I think that will be fine because it'll just create like the silhouette behind the bridge that continues to be Hogwarts Castle because if not it looks like most of Hogwarts Castle is held on top of the bridge so I'm going to go ahead and grab my roll of gray bulletin board paper and just put it through there so let me do that right now I just fixed that section as you saw in the speed through and I'm kind of happy how it looks so far very nice indeed in that corner that's exactly where I want Hogwarts Castle now I just have to do the rest of the piece that goes here and that should not take me that long because I'm just gonna probably just do some mountains some nice slopey mountains and then if I want to do trees I can just make those out of construction paper and then put them up and that way they kind of stand out in green so I'm very happy with how this came out I mean wow this took so long to make but it's so nice to finally see it up on the board okay so let me get going with the next piece and then I'll speak to you after I'm done with that. You know, after I went to the door, to my classroom door, to look at it from the outside in, I'll, you know what, let me show you. So, this is how it looks from the classroom door. You can't really see the castle. So, I'm going to unstaple it and move it over, and then I'll do a smaller piece on that side, which will just be a slope, a mountain or something and then the rest of the mountains on the other side. <laughs> this is taking me a long time to make, but I'm sure it will be all worth it in the end. But this teacher is so tired. I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna eat something because I am hungry and then I'll unstaple it from the wall, scooch it over and fix the rest of it. I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of it today, but I'll do as much as I can. All right, let me go eat something and I'll see you after that. All right, back to work I go, and I have less than an hour, so let's see how much I can get accomplished with this corner bulletin board.
I think I have done everything I could do for today and I still have a little bit of a section to do but it's not so bad and I decided that which is why this section took me a little bit longer I decided to do a couple of trees as you saw from the speed through so I'm really happy with how this is turning out as you can see now it's starting to look like a more cohesive scene we have a couple of trees here and a little hill and then here's the bridge and there's Hogwarts and this is the cliff that this is sitting on this is like the hall where they have their meals and this then breaks off into some slopes so I'm not gonna do any more trees maybe I will do maybe nah I'm not gonna do any more trees I'm just gonna do a couple of slopes here and that'll be the end of this corner scene Oh my gosh, y'all, this is coming together so nicely. I'm really excited. Part of me wants to kind of try and see if I can do those slopes really quickly, but they're going to kick me out in like 10 minutes. Would I be able to do this in 10 minutes? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. If they kick me out, then I'll just leave. But at least I would have gotten started. I wasn't planning on coming in tomorrow because there's an Ikea event that I'm going to for teachers. And then I have a doctor's appointment in the early afternoon. So I'm not sure if I should come in. I mean, the Ikea event is a breakfast and hopefully I'll finish around 11. So maybe I could come into school at least for an hour before heading out to my doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna play it by ear. If not, I will definitely come back on Monday. I know I'm not trying to come in next week because it's my last, last week of summer break but I need to get this done. I mean, by now, I thought I would have had all these things down from the cabinets, but these bulletin boards are very important because they'll help tie the whole theme together. All right, so let me see what I can do in the next 10 minutes. Wish me luck. Wait, let me see it from the classroom door. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, y'all, my gosh. This looks so awesome. I can't wait to finish off the border. And this will look amazing. And they have not kicked me out yet, but it's already 4.06. So I should gather my things and get going before they lock me in the building. But wow i am so proud of this i almost feel like i should really put some trees over here maybe i'm not sure but that's okay because i can just cut those out of paper and just put them there oh my goodness beautiful i feel so accomplished today i know that the only thing i worked on was this bulletin board but it is pretty much done all i have to do now is the border and i'm thinking of adding a few other decorative elements later on if I have time. If not, it can just stay like this because it looks amazing. Okay, so next week, my task is start taking those things down. Build the fireplace. Put the fireplace in the corner. I need to try and find some birch wood logs or some kind of wooden logs somewhere. So Home Depot would probably be a good place to go and check because I do want to put real wood in the fireplace. So I'm going to think about how I'm going to do that. But, oh my goodness, I have another craft activity that I need to do, probably starting this weekend. I need to put all the floating candles together. I'm going to make 24 floating candles, so and those are going to be hanging from the ceiling. I already purchased the materials from Amazon, so I will put those together as soon as I'm able to, and I'll probably vlog about that as well. So... I'm so excited. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's day two of my classroom setup and that you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. 
I hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile. I'll see you next time.